the crowd has really gotten into this fight now. Go to the body, they say, from the corner of Bash Ali. Camel with a good jab as Ali tried to come in. Ali does not possess a good jab. Everything that he basically scores with is from long range. Oh, an uppercut to Camel. Ali is measuring Camel now. Measuring, look at that, he dances, he taunts him. His gloves down. Ali, confident now against the former champion, Marvin Camel. Well, this crowd has really come to life. And Marvin Campbell in a little bit of trouble there in round seven. You have to score that round to Ali. Aggressive the whole way, got in lots of good punches. If his face will survive the rest of the fight. Look at him, he obviously has been taking so much. He's uh, no strong to go another 15 rounds. Here, Alvarez. For him for nothing. Here, Alvarez. Not one strong enough to go another 15. He said. What they're doing, this is a little bit of psychology. Meanwhile, Campbell shows the effects himself. Look at him grabbing breath. Well, while Bash Ali is majoring in political science, his corner is giving him a lesson in psychology. That's right. <laughs> really, let me write a paper about the rest of this fight, okay? <laughs> Don't make me go back out there. They're telling him, Bash, you're not tired. Don't think about it. Good left by Ali. He is not backing away now from the jab of Camel as he did earlier in the fight. He is staying in on him. He is the aggressor. He's moving a little tighter with his attack. height and size advantage. What a battle of courage this sport is. A group of psychologists and physiologists got together and uh, decided that by far, considering the physical strain, the, the risk of putting yourself on the line, the thinking required, the tactics, everything else, boxing by far is the toughest sport known to man. And you can see it watching these two men, both who have good reasons for having to win this fight. Ali struggle. standing on the corner pipe was taunting Camel, taking those jabs to the midsection and waving or gesturing with the glove hand, come on, give me more, I can take it. There's the psychology you were referring to. You can't hurt me, Camel. Come get me. Two misses. With the way Ali is taking these shots to the midsection, it's a good thing he lost his appetite two days ago. Camel just dancing, staying away, sticking the jab. He knows he's ahead on points, or at least figures he is. He may not be as far ahead as he would think. At the most, I'd give him two points right now in the fight. It's still anybody's bout. So it'll come down to condition, something both men said they prided themselves on when we talked to them yesterday. Ooh, ooh, good, good one. Good right, yeah. As a student of boxing, you may be seeing a transition here of Bash Ali. Fighting a world-class fighter for the first time, now you're seeing Ali do the bob and weave, showing some style. Hmm. I tell you, folks are getting their money's worth tonight. 
crowd having some impact on Ali, I believe, but in his corner, they gave him good advice. Round nine coming up. Here's some of that action. There's the left to the body. Ali acts like he doesn't even feel it and comes back with the overhand right. He had Campbell actually leaning away. I'm not sure he got much on that. But look at the aggressiveness of Ali. Alvarez telling Ali not to wait so long. Campbell has been able to get off first on most occasions. And uh, that'll make a lot of difference. He's been able to use that left hand to the body. Well, we'll see now what the advice from the corner of Bash Ali has had in the way of impact on their fighter. Again, earlier in the fight, we talked about the lack of style of Ali, but we're beginning to see some of the subtlety where he makes the fake and throws the other way, a little bob and weave. I really believe we're seeing an emergence here of Bash Ali as a boxer, a man who is learning from his opponent here tonight. You know, he's got all of the things, the intangibles that it takes to be a great fighter. And considering he only began doing this some three, four years ago, it's remarkable that he's as skilled as he is. How'd you like to be the referee having to step in between some of those? A couple of more good blows by Ali. He'll win points by being the aggressor. I think his corner has pretty well decided this is going to go all the way. And if he has a chance to win it, he needs to get those points. A little less than a minute and a half to go. We're in round nine. Third time in the fight that uh, Jack Campbell, the referee, has had to warn Marvin Campbell about the low blow. Look at that. Look at that. The taunt. Oh, me? That's it. We talk about the few years that Ali has been a fighter. Campbell had to fight his entire life. He said he began boxing at the age of 12. He, yeah, said it, he said it's a way of life. It was the only way he could succeed. He has fought for everything he's acquired in his lifetime. To be an Indian in America is to be truly at the bottom of the totem pole. I don't, don't get me started talking about that because I'm part Indian and have a whole lot of strong feelings about it. They have really wailed on each other in round nine. That would be a difficult one to score. But the way I have this now, there can't be more than two points different in this fight. Let's go back and watch the show they put on. It began here for the second time in the fight. You see Ali taunting, this time openly. And of Campbell course, uses a chance to stretch. Campbell says, you can't be serious. <laughs> I am the great Marvin Campbell. And then you move in ways you don't do nothing. It shows the discipline. Not about to go in there. And of course, the most important man in the corner of Marvin Campbell, because of the way his fight career has gone, is the cut man. A three-man team working on Bash Ali. Round 10.
Campbell will make a mistake if he starts plugging it out. Ali is scoring in the clinches. Campbell has 18 knockouts in his 39 victories, but is not known as a knockout puncher. Good left jab by Campbell. Another. Uppercut connect. Another. He's trying to get the right uppercut in now. Again, he gets it. Ali answers with the right uppercut. A lot of the experts felt it wouldn't go this far. Ali, I think, has surprised those experts, not the least of which Marvin Campbell. I think, I really think Campbell thought that he'd have an easier fight than this. It's hard to understand because Ali looks smaller, takes a lot of punishment, and seems undaunted. Yet from a size point of view, it is Ali who outweighs Campbell by five pounds. Deceptive, eh? Ali pursues Campbell looking for a rest. Ali pursues. <laughs> Campbell's new strategy is the right hand uppercut lead. And it's getting in every time. Ali scores again and again. The right eye of Ali puffing badly now. The product is some of those rights we've been talking about. Ooh. They each hit each other with that time. Whoa. Round 11 coming up. 11 Let me take a moment to welcome our viewers along our exclusive pay television network for tonight's big fight. Our subscription television viewers in Cincinnati and Chicago, in Dallas and Cleveland and in Boston. Our Worcester, Massachusetts viewers, I know enjoying tonight's fight. And along this network, we welcome our viewers to the newest member of the STV family, the Spectrum System in Chicago. You mentioned my old home area, Ohio, and where I was near where I was born there, near Chicago. Here we go back and look at some of round 10. Ali and Camel, two very tired fighters. They have been pounding on each other for 10 rounds, and now we move to round 11 at the Cow Palace Live from San Francisco. They come out renewed. Whoa, good exchange, good exchange, and Camel holds on. That time, Campbell scored on Ali. Oh, a good score by Ali. Another. An uppercut, another in the clinch, another and another. A combination score. Ali now beginning to score on Marvin Campbell. 
in the 11th round. Fans on their feet. The local favorite, Taj Ali, scoring again on Marvin Camel. Camel bleeding from the nose again. Campbell, without question, has much, much more than he bargained for here tonight. This is an elimination bout in the cruiserweight division of the WBC. In all likelihood, the winner gets a shot at Carlos de Leon for the title in November. Oh, another hard hit by Ali on the right. He combines in the corner. Campbell trying to buy time. He's been stunned. Another combination. Good left by Campbell off the rope. Another. Campbell now cut over the left eye. Final seconds. What a battle. Final seconds of round 11. Another score. Another. Ali may be picking up round 11 on the scorecard. And a couple of blows after the bell. I'd like to see the official cards right now. This is going to be interesting. This is going to be a beauty. You see them working on the cuts above Camel's left eye. He's also, I believe, bleeding from either the nose or the mouth. Not unusual, though, for Marvin Camel. Don't think it bothers him in the least because it does not. Here's some of the action from that furious 11th round. The lead jam by Ali. He's measuring now as he drives him for the corner, leans in, and then missing here, he'll score in tight. Look at Camel just laying all over Ali. You know, when, you, when you think about the two, ooh, ooh. When you think about the strategy, it has been perfect for Marvin Campbell. The body punches, lots of body punches, and using his height to advantage whenever he can. This is. is round 12. This is the final round of tonight's scheduled 12 rounders. And more of the same, they're both trading leather. <laughs> Ali needs to win this round. If it is as close as we would suspect, he needs round 12. This may be, yeah, this, this round will probably decide the fight, the winner of this round. Conditioning long since past the question mark. Both men in superb condition for the fight. Very rare, Jan, in the heavier weight classes to see two men slug each other for 12 rounds. A tribute, as you said, to the condition of both of these men. The blood dripping rapidly from above the eye of Marvin Campbell now. What you see spraying from the head of Marvin Campbell is not perspiration. Rolling over the right eye. Camel staying away this round. Ali scoring with the left, but he needs to be the aggressor. Ali cannot afford not a box. Ali needs to win this round. Good combination. He got the right in. Ali fired, but he needs to be the aggressor. Round 
12. About half the round to go. Winding down on the this finest is fight of the career of Bash Ali. Marvin so U.S. B.A. Cruiserweight Championship right here, the last 30 seconds. Again, they exchange right. The corner of Ali waving at him, saying, be the aggressor, hit him, hit him. 30 seconds left in the greatest fight in the career of Bash Ali. Campbell with his hands full. This will be very close in scoring. Oh, a heavy left from Campbell. That's the end of this bout. Both men receive the tribute of the crowd here. We look at press at ringside, they smile. They have seen what they have come to see. An outstanding bout between two very brave and talented men, Bash Ali and Marvin Camel. I'd not like to score that one. Let's take a look at some of the action from the final round here. There's that left hook by Camel that really caught Ali coming in. But look, just as all fights, one step backward and then right back on the attack. On Dick Carlson's scorecard right here beside me, we have ourselves a draw. We'll see what the judges come out with. Marvin Campbell, the former world champion, in fact, the first man to hold the Cruiserweight Championship against Bash Ali, the local favorite here in the Bay Area. Ali's face puffed and swollen. Campbell cut. Both men in quite a battle tonight. Profound challenges for both because of Ali's desire to win this so that he can get the shot at the title that would help him as he hopes launch a political career in his home country of Nigeria. For Camel, a man who has set goals all of his life, his first goal was just to get off the Flathead Reservation in Montana. It is also the same situation for him. I believe we have a decision. No, not yet. The judges, as you might expect, going over the cards carefully. The state commissioner, in fact, taking a look at the cars over in the corner. As I was telling you about Marvin Campbell, he has, as we've told you, built a, a home for, I mean, a gym for lots of the children in his area back in Montana. <laughs> Exercising, showing that he's still fresh. Ali waving to the crowd. The heavy heavy suspense as both men wonder what their efforts will bring them tonight. I believe we're ready for the decision. Let's go into the ring. We have your decision. Referee Jack Campbell votes 115 Marvin Campbell, 113 Bash Carey. Judge Judge Rudy Ortega, Marvin Cannell, 115, Bash Alley, 114. Jack Downey, Judge, 115, Marvin Cannell, 111, Bash Alley. The winner, by unanimous decision, Marvin Cannell. There you have it, Marvin Cannell takes the step he needs to get another shot at Carlos De Leon and get back the title he won in the first Cruiserweight Championship fight. A unanimous decision from Marvin Kemp.